Hey, hey, this is director, producer Alan Wills, and I am on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Royce Live. And when I'm online, I listen to Jerry Royce Live at www.freaker.com backslash positivepower21.org. Y'all heard? struggling with your relationship or you just can't seem to find the right one, author Gerald Manuel has written an enlightening new book entitled How to Identify Your Spiritual Soulmate. You may order a copy today from Amazon.com or at BarnesandNoble.com. This book is sure to answer many of the questions you may have. Thank you and God bless you. Oh, hello. Welcome to Jerry Royce Live on Power21.org. I am your host, Michelle Edmonds, and you have joined Living with Serenity, where we talk about nature, natural, and healthy living. So sit back, get serene as we get started. You are listening to PositivePower21.org with Jerry Royce. What up, it's your boy Kano Kingston. Hi, this is Angel Session. Hey, this is Kat. Hi, I'm Teresa Powell. Hi, Jerry. This is Iowa Sandro Carter. Hi, this is Paul Powell. Hello, this is Teresa Bobby with Jerry Royce Live. Hi, I'm Philip Byrne. I'm live on the Jerry Royce Show. Hey, what do you do? This is boy who's the same. Peace, this is Dolly, the poet, spoken word artist. Hello, this is Ramon Marquis with Jerry Worth Live. All right, all right, everyone. We've got Robin Lynn, and I'm keeping it live right now on Jerry Royce Live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? This is a award winning podcast with the greatest podcast on earth. Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host, Jerry Royce Live Worldwide on Internet Radio. Where you get your positive on So when it's all positive It's all power That's positive power This is a worldwide podcast For growth, wealth, and success Thank you <clears throat> Think you know how drugs get in those little brown bottles? Think again Set in the green hills of western New Jersey inside the gilded halls of power of a U.S. pharmaceutical company where decisions are worth billions of dollars and human lives worth less. Nicholas Harding, a young executive at Marshall Pharmaceutical, finds his career, family, and life in jeopardy. The Farmhouse, a suspense thriller novel by Bill Powers, published by Donna Inc. Publications, available at Amazon.com or DonnaInc.org. Go to Bill's webpage at www.authorbillpowers.com. Hi, I am Martha Crystal Alexis, and I'm on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Royce Live. Woohoo! Hey, hey, thank you everybody for joining us, and welcome to PositivePower21.org. Can you feel the power? 
Can you feel the power of 21? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am Jerry Royce Live. I am blessed. I am so grateful. I am worldwide. You're listening to episode 370 with Living with Serenity with Michelle Edmonds. That's right. Before we bring Michelle Edmonds out, let's hear a word from our sponsor. That's right. Reese World Publishing. And he's coming soon. He'll be here next week, y'all. That's right. Next week. I guess, no, not next week. The week after. <laughs> Are you an avid reader of urban fiction, looking for drama, suspense, and more? Reese World Publishing is dedicated to bringing the world's best literature to our readers. Urban fiction, erotica, sci-fi, mainstream fiction, and children's literature are just some of the genres produced by our diversified family of authors. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at our website, www.reeseworldpublishing.com. Hi, this is Angel Sessions, and when I'm in town, I listen to Jerry Royce Live, PositivePower21.org, where they play my favorite music. That's right, and Angel's one of our favorite musicians out there. Check her out. We play her music and Linton and Louise Smith. They open the show up. All of them available right here on PositivePower21.org. Just go out there to our guest where we host our guest list and click on there album covers and make a purchase that's right and angel leads everybody in sales on amazon.com that's right one of the leading leading retailers out there and we're grateful to be able to be carried as an affiliate that's right positive power 21.org with jerry voice live worldwide you're listening to episode 370 living with serenity with michelle emmons michelle emmons m-a-m-e-d coach and senior nutritionist Michelle Emmons is an entrepreneur in public health, social justice, as a public speaker and writer. Topics include Serenity's top seven fat hot mm, habits, the politics of weight loss, detox your mind or fat will come back, and the weight of anger. Magna cum laude undergraduate, Ms. Emmons also holds two master's degrees and received her doctoral training from Columbia University in counseling and psychology and adult education. Michelle is the author and co-founder of Serenity Weight Loss and Detoxification Program founded in 1992, the Serenity Challenge, a virtual grant-funded wellness initiative started in 2013. All right, she's here to talk to us about health. Welcome to the show, Michelle Emmons. Well, Thank you, Jerry. So glad to be here. Yeah, you ready for yeah. our topic tonight? <laughs> yeah, Dr. Michelle Emmons. Now, <laughs> where, where are we going to see that? that where are we going to see that doctoral degree on there? You know, so we can call you Dr. Are you working on that right now? Um, actually, um, I have one of those people that have finished everything except for that end where you present your. Hi, Matt. Mm-hmm. All the coursework, all the coursework is done. Okay, all right. So you said you need to submit what, one other thing. We didn't hear you. Yeah. Oh, it's called a dissertation. Oh, your dissertation. And, okay. I yes. Uh huh. And once that's right. complete, that's it. But all the coursework is done. All the practicum, all the work is done. Yeah. So you start. I'm sure you started it already, right? Oh yes. All of all of the work is done. All the coursework. Mm-hmm. All the credits have been earned. Absolutely. All right. Good, Absolutely. good. All right, so, so soon we'll be able to be blessed to have a doctor on the program. <laughs> right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Dr. Evans is here, y'all. That's right. That's what we'd be saying. And this is episode 370. We're so happy to have you on the show. We had a good time uh, engineering the program last night with you and Kimmy Kim. So don't forget, y'all, check out Kimmy Kim. That's right. She coming out of um, St. Louis. And I think I said Kansas City earlier in the last show. I, I don't know why I keep associating her with Kansas City, but she's from St. Louis, Missouri. Yes. So you got to check that program out. That was an excellent show. She had a pastor. Um, Kenyatta Smith was here. He's out of Chicago, a church called uh, Another Chance. Um, and we're hoping to bring him on board so he can bless everybody with the word. And that, that, brother, can, that brother can talk. He, he's awesome. Awesome. All right. All right, you ready? You ready? Yes, sir. We are ready. Ready. All right. So what you got for us today? Well, Jerry, uh, one of the things that um, comes up a lot 
is um, what do you do when, you know, you go to the doctor and they tell you that you are diabetic, pre-diabetic, have mm-hmm. high cholesterol, high blood pressure? Well, mm-hmm. many times we're not entering in properly, and the doctors really are not, in, not very patient with us, and so before we get out of our mouth, well, I don't really like pills. Before we finish the sentence, that prescription is written and in our hand. Yep. What do you do when you're told you are pre-diabetic and you don't want to take a prescription? It's not enough to say, I don't want pills, but what are you going to do is the question, and that's what we're here to talk about tonight. All right. All right. Now, you know, now my doctor never, they never told me that um, I did have some cholesterol issues and um, low, low D, vitamin D levels uh-huh. uh, had to, they had to be prescribed. And I found out I was borderline diabetic from the insurance company. You uh-huh. know, when I was uh, getting one of those nice insurance policies, they, they, it, was, it was a chart. And this chart was very informative. It was scary. Uh-huh. It was a wheel, a color wheel. <laughs> but then after a while, I got over it. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh-huh. So uh, I thought what I was doing was, was, you know, you know, increasing weightlifting and, you know, uh, uh, trying to you know, eat more salad. But I wasn't giving up some things I should have been giving up, like cookies and pies and cake. So uh, I, I had that balance where I did enough exercising not to gain any more weight. So I stuck around at 206 for a very long time. But I had the high cholesterol. All uh-huh. right. Uh-huh. So that's me. All right. What you got for me? Well, the first thing um, I want to correct, Jerry, and and it comes up a lot because we don't really want to believe it, and that is that we're this notion of being pre-diabetic. There is no such thing as pre-diabetic. Pre-diabetes is really just the first time you were diagnosed diabetic. It changed the way you're thinking. Because the only way you could be diagnosed pre is if your number was high. Isn't that correct, mm-hmm. Jerry? Right. Well, if it, was, right. if it was high, then you were diabetic. It's mm-hmm. just the first time you were told. Yeah. Now, if you, if you enter in with the attitude that there is such a thing as pre, then you do not, then you do just what you did. You don't make the changes. You don't feel the urgency. Doctors are counting on that. Trade minds with them for a minute. Think like a doctor for a minute. You have a mortgage to pay. You've been to medical school. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not loving hearing you tell me you're going to start drinking cider and vinegar or vinegar and lemons and water or you're going to start taking noni juice. See, I'm not going to. I'm not hearing that. I've got to protect my practice. We right. don't enter in properly. So we go in there and we say, well, I, I don't want to take the, any pills. I'm going to do a detox. I'm embarrassed, Jerry, by the things that we do in response to being told serious things like we're diabetic or our cholesterol is high. What matches what the doctors are saying to us? What matches is you go, you go back, you have a holistic person in your Rolodex, just like you have a doctor's phone number in your Rolodex. Someone you already have vetted, know what they do, know what their results are. And so when you're told you're pre-diabetic, now you call that person and say, okay, roll up the sleeves. We need to get busy. Mm. First step is always, always detox. Always detox. Um, all disease starts in the colon. How could it not? That is where all of your waste and your toxins are sitting. The mm. person that does autopsies, Jerry, the average person, they report seeing as much as 40 to 42 pounds of stool after mm. doing an autopsy. Mm. And pre-diabetes is all you're hearing? You're lucky that's all you're being told you are. That's right. That's or, right. or, or high blood pressure. You really are for Your body is doing an amazing job. So you start with a detox and do it in a structured manner. And when we say detox listening audience, we are talking about 
cleaning out the colon. Let's talk, let's talk real. We're talking about pooping. Now, lemon juice and water may be a good bl- uh, blood cleanser, and I, we do use it in the program. But let's be, like that. be real. Oh, yes, but let's be real. A detox is talking about cleaning out the colon, excess stool that's been there for years. Ooh, years. And years. And it lines the colon, be, actually becomes harder year after year, and mm. your tubing of your colon gets more and more narrow with each passing year. Wow. So we're, we're talking about getting rid of all that old debris. So now you go back to your doctor and say, okay, doc, I've, I've contacted a nutritionist, and I'm taking fiber, increased fiber. You go back and say I'm drinking lemon juice and water, he's going to give you another prescription mm. and, and, and say, yeah, right. Wow. Then, you, then you go, Doc, okay, um, now I'm changing the way I eat. And we, as you know, teach the paleo lifestyle. I am an, ex, an expert in that area. And so you go back and say, okay, Doc, I've taken out all the bread and the pasta. That was causing bread, no pasta. It, bread and pasta got to go. That's man-made. All that's man-made. Mm-hmm. And they also raise blood sugar. So your protocol then is, so far we have detox, starting with the colon. The second organ is the kidneys. The third and fourth organ is the liver and gallbladder. In that order. Oops, no gallbladder. Oh, no problem because your liver picks up the slack and believe it or not, gallstones are in your liver. Mm. Your liver knows that the gallbladder is gone and it picks up the slack and the gallstones are in the liver. Yeah. So you can do a home-based cleansing of your liver and you will still release liver stones and gallstones, but it has to be structured. Okay. All right. Now, Michelle, we want to hear the structure because I'm very interested in hearing the structure, especially the home base, because I'm going to tell you before we go to break, two minutes, I have had a colonoscopy done uh, Mm -hmm. one year from May. And um, basically they give you, you know, your drink, you you know, I think it's a whole bunch of fiber you dump inside the Gatorade or something. And I guess to keep you from dehydrating and then you take these uh, some dial something, little tiny pills, like three or four of those, and it empties out your everything so they'd be able to do a, a scope, you know, first thing mm-hmm. in the morning, you know, for anything. I think you can just eat jelly, jello, jelly, mm-hmm. <laughs> jello. <laughs> um, and I think uh, I think only orange is that, no other types. So anyway, that's the colonoscopy, and I, and, the, and I think they do one when you over, I guess, 45 or 50, depending on your family's history with colon, with colon cancer and stuff like that. So I want to hear your take on that when we get back from our break. All right, y'all? All we'll right. A quick break. Of course, I missed a, a couple commercials on the last show, but we got, we got one, another one with Reese Publishing. He's coming. He's coming here, uh, I think, the second week in July. We got Reese World coming here. All right, check them out. Are you an avid reader of urban fiction looking for drama, suspense, and more? Reese World Publishing is dedicated to bringing the world's best literature to our readers. Urban fiction, erotica, sci-fi, mainstream fiction, and children's literature are just some of the genres produced by our diversified family of authors. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at our website, www.reeswellpublishing.com. Hi, I am recording artist Marilyn Dunn from St. Louis, Missouri. If you are looking for some soul-stirring, anointed, spiritual, and heartfelt music, visit my website at www.marilynnministries.com. Or you can also find me on CD Baby, iTunes, and Reverb Nation. 
For booking information, contact Mr. Kevin Dunn at 636-856-0551. That's 636-856-0551. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio You are listening to Positive Power 21.org with Jerry Royce. All right. Thank you, family, for bringing me in. We're having a good time talking about pooping. That's right. She's going to tell us how to do it right because you're supposed to do it about maybe a couple times a day, maybe every time you finish eating, right, Michelle? Is that right? <laughs> Actually, yes, just like a baby. Um, no less than two to three times a day, but significant volume. Yeah. And um, and also I think it's important, and, you know, we don't as adults talk about pooping very much. You know, it's not considered very cool, you know, it's, yeah. but it, it it is important. It should be um, fairly odorless. I don't. Most people don't know that. Um, oh, you know, wow. when you go to the bathroom, you're not supposed to light up the bathroom, let alone light up the house. Oh yeah. Um, it should be almost. Oh, oh, absolutely. I'm aware that there are people that do. It should be almost odorless. The more offensive the stool is, the more toxic and old the feces is. The more wow. toxic you are. So wow. you. Use how strong and offensive it is as an indicator of your health, of the body, of your body's health. Mm. Also, there's not supposed to be mucus. Um, and if you're seeing globs of mucus mixed in, uh, that's coming from inflammation that's in your body. Your body develop, yeah. develops mucus to protect itself. Yeah, and right it's on. supposed to float. Did you know that your, st- your stool's supposed to float? Yeah, I remember back in the day when you were younger, you know, yes. it did. Yes, it did. It's not supposed to just, you know, sink like a brick. And mm. if it is doing that, uh, that is a sign of very old, very toxic stool. And wow. and if, if you don't mind, while we're on the subject, urine quality is also important. I'll just run through that quickly. Urine is not supposed to bubble. It's not supposed to have bubbles or foam. If it does... There is sugar in your urine. It is not bubbly because, yes, it's not bubbly because it's hitting the water. It's bubbly because there's sugar in the urine. It's supposed Mm -hmm. to be very, very, very pale yellow, but not white. Wow. White means nearly clear. That's not a sign of healthy urine. It's supposed to be very pale yellow. So sugar levels. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Kidney problems, kidneys as well. Kidneys problems Mm -hmm. causes very white urine. That's right. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I definitely remember that. That is correct. Wow. That's 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 some heavy stuff you just told. You know, the the doctors don't sit there and tell you that kind of stuff. I've never heard it ever, 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 Michelle, as as Uh, much as I have gone to the doctor. (laughs) You're getting billed for 15 minutes. They don't have time, and I'm not sure that they're taught. Yeah, and they should know because they're doing it too. They got to look at their, their stuff. It's not like they have a robot talking to you. you Absolutely. Know? Well, spirit, they, they're Absolutely. human too. They should be like telling you the same thing that they're supposed to be doing. Absolutely. That's, that's and and we did that in less than five minutes, didn't we, Jerry? So they're, they're, yeah. I guess they do have time, don't they? Yeah, they got time. They, they waste most of their time trying to figure out how to use their laptops mm-hmm. and their tablets. You know, just make sure you make sure your information going to those medical companies so they know how you're spending your money, you know, know how to direct you to some health issues. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Wow. Okay, so we talking to the coach, y'all, senior nutritionist, and she's here to help save our life, our lives. That's right. So you can continue to be to stay spiritual and take care of that body that God bless you with. Because you could be looking good on the outside, but maybe not too good on the inside. Now, that was interesting you said, Michelle, about the smell. Now, I noticed that after doing a detox, you know, you may go a day or two, and you don't smell nothing. You know, you're like, wow, okay, Mm -hmm. you cleaned out. But, you know, after a while, you know, you eat, you know, at least you're doing a lot of vegetables. Because, like like I told you before, I'm really taking on my my salads now. That's, That's a lot of my meals. But. You know, I had a healthy, a healthy, a healthy, healthy portion of some some um, pork ribs for Father's Day. 
<laughs> you know, they said, uh, you know, the protein, white pork supposed to be all right, according to the yes, doctor. Yes, yes, it is, sir. Actually, it is. Uh, now, white, white lean pork is fine. Now, this was this was something that came out of the another religion camp years ago, that if you put pork outside in the sun and let it break itself down, it would turn into worms. I said, well, anything sitting outside in the sun will probably turn into the worms, right? Um, actually, absolutely. I, I know what they're talking about, but you, you said something else that I agree with completely and is, is scientifically accurate. If you sit out, if you die, mm-hmm. or if you're sick and you're sitting out in the sun, you will release worms as well because everyone has parasites in their body, specifically in the colon. So even we, if we're sitting in the sun and we're not healthy, maybe half, very, very ill, we'll start emitting worms as well. So what happens to the parasites just eat their way out of the body? Is that what's going on? That's my, that's a great segue to my point of colon cleansing. Parasites, all people have parasites. They mostly come from hand contamination and, by the way, from fruit. So they, uh, for example, depending upon what type of parasite we're talking about, let's use tapeworms, for example. They can live in the body for up to 20 years. And they have the ability, the tapeworm can live for years in the body. And, Mm. And you can go to the bathroom and snap them off. And the rest of the tapeworm that's still in can regenerate. Oh, wow, just like earthworms. That's correct. Then there were other worms that you can see with the eye that are not as dramatic as tapeworms, such as round worm. It looks like a piece of spaghetti, and you have it. Mm-hmm. Of course, if you had spaghetti, you would have chewed it. It wouldn't be whole sitting there in your stool. That's a round worm. Okay. And another one you can see with the naked eye is called thread worm. It's called its name because it'll look like blood at first glance. And then you'll notice that it's skinny and long. What makes you look, actually, that it'll be a red-looking thread-like worm. Mm. That is called thread worm. And all of these parasites will eat off of you. And the more they eat off of you, the more you eat. So now we've covered, Jerry, one of the underlying causes of overeating and cra- and severe cravings. Oh, they eat the oh, they eat the food, the the waste. Uh, where where are they in your stomach? You're, they, you're, you said they in your you're right. You're right on both counts. They eat the food from your stomach, and they will eat, and they love the coziness, and they will eat the waste in your colon. You're right oh, on both wow. counts. And so, again, you don't get rid of parasites unless you do a really good colon cleanse. Again. Mm. Structured at home, mean, structured means supervised, guided. Stay away from the one product gimmicks. That's what I call bad detox. The noni juice, someone says, this product's going to do it all. Not so. Not so. A good quality fiber, check with the nutritionist, um, give, give me a call, and let them talk you through what you should be looking for and what is the better product on the market. But fiber mm-hmm. is number one. So, this, so, you, so we use the fiber. So are you doing the recommended dosage or you have to base it on your body weight? Because I know I hear that a lot about, you know, a person wearing 145 wouldn't take the same dose as somebody wearing 250. That's, that's a criteria that we use for nutrition that by the way um as a prior health food store owner i'm embarrassed to say so many of the products in the health food store are pills and you cannot take it based on body weight so we're going to do just like the doctors with nutrition and we're going to take it liquid form based on body weight and and then when you have a diagnosis take those items that are specific to your medical challenge. So if it's pre-diabetes, you should be bumping up chromium and vanadium. This is not doctoring. This is science. So any educator can tell you this. This is not a chromium and vanadium. This is scientific fact. These are the minerals that are most deficient 
when someone is running a high blood sugar. Mm. And if you're not increasing those two minerals, then you're not hitting it on the head. So where going they back come from you. So where they come from your multivitamins in a liquid form you was talking about earlier? Going to talk to your nutritional consultant, whoever you're working with, I'll, I'll be glad to share that with you. And yeah. you get um, a good general mineral formula, liquid form, and then you bump it up that you may bump up the specialty minerals in capsule form. That may be done. A good general broad spectrum mineral and vitamin formula and then specific minerals, and they may be in capsule form, but not tablets. Not tablets. Not tablets. No, no, they don't break down. Why? Because the colon is not clean. That's Mm. why. So by the time they get there, right, because they're still in the pill form, they're pretty much going through your system, and by the time they liquefy it in your colon, it's kind of too late to get anything it, it, from it at that point, that's right? Cor- that's correct. They never even break down. If you were so inclined to examine your stool with a glove, you would find all your lovely little expensive pills sitting right there. Hmm. Why, wow. why, do they, why do they sell them? Because, because they're cheap to make and people are not educated. I used to own a health food store, Jerry. Mm. So I'm, I'm, you're talking to the choir here, and I'm here to say most of what I sold in my health food store was not the best for you. Wow. Mm. Now, I remember reading um, when I was taking, I think, a, it was a form of ginseng or, or uh, go to cola or whatever it was. I mm-hmm. remember this one particular one. I had ordered it from, from a, a, this guy that was at the – at the flea market, and he saw real quality brand um, supplements. And he said, he said, when you take this one, he said, you can, he said, you, he said, what I sell, you can open them up and put them in your drinks and stir them up. He said, liquefy it. Don't mm-hmm. take it in the capsule because by mm-hmm. the time the capsule breaks down, it might be too late. You know? Yeah, and, but and we I have noticed the difference in the feeling too. I noticed mm-hmm. that I was able to really appreciate um, getting whatever was in the capsule in my system, in my bloodstream a lot quicker. I could feel the difference than mm-hmm. it being in a capsule form, you know? Mm-hmm. Does that excellent. make sense? Does that sound right? Uh, no, excellent, excellent. Only one caveat I'll add to that, and that is we still are missing taking it in proportion to body weight. That part was right. still missing. Yeah. And, and the only way to do that, just like the doctors, I mean, you know, you're pre-diabetic, high cholesterol, man, they come at you with a whole arsenal of stuff all based on your body weight. Yeah. And then we want to come back with, well, we heard cinnamon is good for sugar. Uh-uh. uh-uh. See, the doctor's not hearing that. So we got to come back with, well, doc, I'm taking a mineral formula, um, and I'm taking it based on my body weight, one cap full per 100 pounds. And then I've added additional chromium and vanadium in capsule form. Mm-hmm. Then, then you have the doctor's ear, mm-hmm. you see, and then you go back and have dropped 5, 10 pounds. Now you have their ear. That's what's going to get you to walk out of there without yet another prescription. Yeah, yeah. Now, how I did it was I really stepped up the vegetables, you know, I went I went bonkers on the vegetables and the protein. I was doing a lot of I was doing the almonds. I was doing a lot of spinach leaves, the cucumbers, beans, stream beans. Most of the time, I I just steamed them things in the pot. You know, ate them raw. I didn't need no butter, no pepper. And then with the exercising, I really stepped up my cardio. I mean, I was clear. I was I was stair climbing. I was doing twenty flights a day. And I was walking the football field four times, three days a week. So I was really determined from between September when I found out to before Thanksgiving, I was going to be off that medication because that was when she was going to have me come back and do a workup. And at that point, the medication prescription would have been, you know, had ran out and need to be, you know, refilled again. And she found out after getting a new doctor, doing a whole workup, there's nothing there. You okay? Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Were you, what were you prescribed, uh, Jerry? What medication? I was taking insulin and, and two pills. One was for um, 
you know, to keep the medicine from messing up my kidneys. Sure, sure. Yeah, so I think one was for cholesterol, and and then like I said, the other one was to protect the kidneys. Yes, was it, was it metformin? Medicine. Yeah, it was a high pressure. Right, it was a high blood pressure medicine. Okay, okay. Uh, now, did you notice? Um, and I'm going to share this because it's so helpful for everyone that's listening. Did you notice you began by saying you were pre-diabetic? Okay. Well, it, they said it, they actually used the word borderline. Okay, bo- I'll it's, take borderline. Yeah. Company. yeah. Let's Someone take borderline. borderline. Okay. Yeah, they said borderline. Notice I you, anything from the doctor. Not and notice you just you taking insulin at one time. Am I, do you hear what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's not borderline. Do you hear what I'm, you hear the difference? Right, right. If you're borderline, right. you don't get insulin. Well, well. See what happened was the insurance company told me I was borderline in February when I got a test back from them. But okay. I didn't see the doctor until September when I came back from vacation. I realized that the rest didn't do anything. It was like, mm-hmm. what's wrong with me? You know, I got rest. You know, I was chilling because we went to Florida. I was, you know, I, you know, we weren't driving a lot. We was catching the, the shuttle. And when I returned to work and I was I tripped on a flat floor because I couldn't lift my foot up because my balance was off, I went to go I went to go see the nurse and she did the reading. She did the work up. She she said, Your vitals are fine, but your blood sugar levels is off the chain, off the roof. Oh we gotta, okay. we gotta get you out of here. How did you okay. make it in here? And so said, she well, was saying she saw neuropathy. That was why the numbness in your foot. Is that what she was saying? Well, it, it wasn't numb. I just, for some reason, I, I guess because my, my vision was off because my um my, my eye vision had reversed. Yeah, uh, I went from, you know, a normal vision to have to, read, have to use reading glasses. I see. So my, I had a, comp- had a complete revert. And it was funny because I met with a doctor, um, about my, about my, you know, I had the eye work up and everything because I was like concerned. I was like, what's going on? So they did a retina check. They did everything. And then she said, well, you know, when you start getting, you know, in your 40s and everything, sometimes your, your eyesight can, can, you know, do a reverse reversal on you. I was like, nah, I think it's something a little bit more serious. And I said, I've been diagnosed to have high sugar levels. But she didn't really know anything about that. It was a young girl, real young I see. So I ended up wasting money on eyewear because <laughs> my vision returned mm-hmm. to its mm-hmm. normalcy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, clearly yeah. you've done uh, many of the right things because you have already seen some reversals, and we praise God for that. Yeah. What, what mm-hmm. the listeners, I hope, have gotten from your very candid um, testimony is how important it is to understand what your doctors are not telling you and what you are being told. And so yeah. when someone says borderline diabetic, make sure what is my score, please? What do you mean off the chart? What is the score? And if it's borderline, why am I getting medication? Why am I getting insulin? And why am I having symptoms of, of mid-stage diabetes? And that's what you just described, Jerry. You right. described mid-stage diabetes, not, not borderline. Yeah. Um, so we have I, to learn I, how to communicate. Yes, ask real questions. Now, ask real questions. Now, Michelle, you were talking earlier about you know how important it is to detox. Now, what, what are some of the safe safer methods? You mentioned not using like just like one form of one ingredient or pill to yeah, yeah the um, process. For example, uh, there is one uh, that's um, honey and lemon. That's a disaster for someone who is so-called borderline diabetic. That's disastrous. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, um, vinegar is another mistake because vinegar feeds yeast in the colon, in the gut. So mm-hmm. I know common. I know there's actually Bronner's. There's actually a book on the vinegar fast, vinegar you're detox. Talking apple, you're talking about apple cider apple vinegar? vinegar? Absolutely. That's disastrous because oh, really? it feeds yeast. The yeast fungus, and yeast fungus is an underlying root cause of blood sugar problems and diabetes, uh, diabetes wow. overeating. And so was, now, and I was drinking a lot of that. I was drinking like a um, a bottle of that. Well, yeah. I put like a couple capsules and fill a water bottle up. Yep. 
Mm. Yep, I'm not surprised to hear that. And so that's what I mean by all these little gimmicky. Now, where was Bronner coming from? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I have the book on my shelf too. But mm. when you study fermented items such as vinegar and you know what they do, they feed yeast fungus and mm. nearly every diabetic has problems with yeast in their gut then mm. you would stay clear of vinegar. Wow. So that's not such a great method for detox at all. Another one is drinking kale and pineapple smoothies. Mm-hmm. Also a problem. Did your mother, Jerry, ever serve you dinner? Put kale, put a piece of lean pork, and then put a pineapple in the middle of that dinner plate? <laughs> of uh, course. Pineapples, pineapples was used for um, the pineapple upside down cake. It's, abs- it's used for cake. It's used for dessert. Absolutely. So just because you blended it, does it make vegetables and fruit a good combination? It's done all the time. It is technically incorrect. Hmm. So Other than, you're saying, so is it unsafe to, to eat strawberries with your, with your salad? Um, technically, it is incorrect. Vegetable, oh, really? A fruit in our culture was designed and put here by God as natural dessert. Dessert is dessert. Dessert means after your meal, about 20 minutes later. The re- mm. where, where did the habit come from? Because people don't really like vegetables. Mm. And so we're always, it's almost like we have radar. We're always looking for additional sugar. But mm, fruit is radar. nature's, to cover up the taste, that's correct. Um, fruit is nature's dessert. Treat it like it is which is about 20 minutes at the end of your meal, vegetables stay separate, and vegetables should always be combined with proteins, not with fruit. Mm. Now, um, that it causes gas it, and fermentation in the gut. Yeah. You know, it's funny because the fast food restaurants are famous for combining mangoes and strawberries and raisins and stuff. With <laughs> sure. The salad. With sure. The salad. That's because most apples. people... Salads are boring. Sure, because most people think a salad is boring. Now, they eat them because they're supposed to be healthy, especially if they're trying, a person's trying to lose weight. That's the first mm-hmm. thing people think about is a salad. But people don't really, they're not really into salads, and so you have to spike it, spice it up. And that's why all of the, the additional stuff. It's, it's not, but more serious is blending them. Mm and making all these vegetable combination, vegetable fruit smoothies. Very, very serious mistake. I used to own a vegetarian restaurant and juice bar with my health food store. And we did it too because we had to sell, we had to make money. But it, yeah, it, is, right. technically, it is technically incorrect. Mm, wow. And it causes S and excess weight. So if, you, so if you do drink a smoothie, it should just be all fruit and, and, and for your dessert Either only? All that's correct. Either all fruit or all vegetables. Yeah. The only fruit that mixes even just a little bit is a little bit of green apple, mm-hmm. the Granny Smith apples, or a little lemon and lime. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, vegetables. Like oh, right. That would be fine. Wow. <laughs> Hmm. You know, what's funny. my mom had mentioned that to me because she took a nutritional class, which was mm-hmm. more talking about your your acidic foods. Mm-hmm. Your, was that alkaline foods? Is that correct? Is that correct? Alkaline? Yes, it is. Was, yes, she, it is. She got heavy into that because she was having problems with, um, um, what's that disease she has with, you know, with your, with your acid, acid reflux. Acid reflux. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, that'd be interesting for you to do a segment on that one day. Oh, that would be a wonderful uh, segment, and we will cover that. In fact, we'll, we'll have a variety of series where we'll cover very common um, medical challenges like acid reflux, Crohn's, colitis, um, and then, of course, diabetes and high blood pressure and cholesterol. We'll have a, is, uh, yes, medical uh, diagnosis-specific. Yeah. Yes, the yes. Biggest, the biggest burdens on black America. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. Keeping the doctor in the Mercedes and the, and some of them probably ready to go out there and buy those. No, they're driving Porsches now, the four door Porsches. Sure, sure. So, so they stepping and it up. Sure. To be fair to the doctors, you know, we can't be hating on them when we're not doing when we sh- what we can do on our own. Not even That's asking right. a good 
not even asking good questions. That's right. Right. And, and, and we're guilty of that because, you know, how many times you went to the doctor with your parents and they didn't ask no questions? They, the doctor looked straight, straight in the face. Any questions? Yes. They asked your kid, how you feeling? You okay? Oh, yes. I don't know what to say. You know, sure. and then his mom. Mom, you got any questions? Okay, so, so I write you a prescription. They look at it and they say, okay, I just follow the dosage on here. No questions asked. That's you right. You know, me out of there. That's right. Wow. That's right. Mm. We need training on how to enter in and to interact with a doctor. Yes. Mm. Wow. So we need to do a, a webinar. Yes, we, it would be wonderful. It would be wonderful. Engage him. Yeah. I mean, I love podcasting, love radio, but my spirit told me today when I was researching uh, the Internet on doing um, what they call a live video stream, mm-hmm. the technology is here. We can actually place the, the viewing screen right on our website and uh, mark it live. And, and, and when we hit that button broadcast, we're, we're coming right to them just like they're watching TV. All right, Michelle, another awesome segment with Living with Serenity with Michelle Edmonds. Yeah, kudos. Thank, thank you. So what you going to do without me, Michelle, when, when it's just you? you <laughs> well, we are, well, we, well, we better sign off for sure and make sure that they know how to reach me. And uh, we're going to have lots of guests. We're, um, and I'm going to bring um, several team members, we call ourselves team members, onto the broadcast because, you know, it's, it's, time, it's going to be time soon where they hear some success stories. You need to hear yeah. some results. So yeah. I think Jerry and I, Jerry has helped me lay some sound work for all of you um, yeah. with these last two broadcasts, but we're going to segue into probably the next show will be some results. And then we'll start going into some of the more specific medical challenges that we talked about tonight, Jerry. Um, Yeah. Yeah. 111 pounds down, 44 pounds down. We're just going to bring on as many as who are willing to speak. That's right. Because they're not going to want to hear my diabetic stories every every segment. (laughs) (laughs) They're going to want to move on. Okay, Jerry is here. Who else you got? You know, <laughs> we understand that diabetes is the killer. Don't beat me up. Yeah, we're going we to beat him up. Right. You wish you wish you wish come back for that. What else you got, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. we beat him enough. We beat him up enough with the diabetes, but we know they got other issues going on, high blood pressure, and, and not understanding a proper way. And you may have to come back with the detox thing. Cause that seems like that to me. Death is in the gut. That's where our death is, right there, it's, waiting. You're like a time correct. bomb. That's correct. Right? It's, it's, Gut. It starts in your gut. That's right. Mm, that's where that's all my right. weight went too. That was where all my weight was pretty much. And ironically, right it's the last thing we talk about. It's the last thing adults talk about. Mm. We'll talk about anything else, but no one talks about pooping. And I get it. Yeah. I mean, it's not pretty. I get it. But ironically, it's the biggest single problem. It's why so many people their tummies are protruding, um, mm. almost like it's just common. You know? Yeah, I'm starting to get confused who's pregnant. Exactly. <laughs> you know, okay, you look like a guy, but you look, you're you pregnant like a woman. You, okay, I know you're a female, but are you pregnant? You look like you're in your 50s. What's up? You know? <laughs> Even the ones in their 30s, are you pregnant again? You know? Oh, age seems to have no difference now. Um, some of the some of the young people, just, just, just as big. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you see a nice, you know, attractive woman, you know, nice curvy body. Turn around. Sideways. Whoa. Turn around. <laughs> With the front of a ship. <laughs> turn, them, turn them sideways. Are you not sure, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Sure. Especially now because, you know, pregnant women are wearing fitted clothes now. Right, you know, right. So, you know, a person with a gut not going to, you know, even, man, back in the day, they would wear a loose T-shirt or loose shirt. Now people... They don't, they don't, they're not um, in birth. Like it's okay. Just, it's, have you seen that? It's like it's okay. Um, I work for the government. <laughs> I see it every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm from I'm old people. Well, you out there, though, black company, you used to, you, your job was to cover it up. I don't yeah, know. That's why, you know, one time I thought that, um, you know, when, when, while, while I was working out, I, I thought that, and I felt this too myself, walking up the steps, 
you know, lifting my, my knees up to my waist, um, I don't know how many steps there are to a flight, but when you walk five flights three times a day, sometimes four, you, I, I think you're all, you know, tightening up that core muscle wow. uh, and firming it up. Because I think, because it was funny, because when I was at the Toastmaster International, um, one of the, you know, one of the uh, governors touched my stomach and said, did you eat enough today? Did you have enough? Just, you know, my stomach was flat. You know, I said, yeah, I had plenty. And I was like, wow. I got a flat stomach. <laughs> right. That's right. Jerry was live. Got a flat stomach. Jerry was live. It's a flat stomach. Well, it, that's it's right. When it's not, right. it's usually full of stool. So if someone tells you you're full of it, <laughs> yeah. then be accurate. Yeah, you're full of it. And it's not just body fat. So you're saying it's actual maybe 40 something pounds of stool sitting in there, huh? That's correct. People who do autopsies have reported seeing as much as 40 to 42 pounds mm. upon okay. doing an autopsy. People yeah, who do okay. colonics are seeing from anywhere from 30 to 35 pounds. And mm. at Serenity, which is our program, we're seeing from 10 to 25 pounds, and we're basing that on the weight loss rate. Any way you cut it, all of those figures, any way you cut it, that's a lot of stool. It is. Now, Michelle, I know we got a great in the show, but I wanted to, I wanted to ask you this too. Um, now, now you was talking about, now, is this, this detox. Now, one of the ones that I was using with, with some, some Muslim ladies, it was, they, they, it was, too, it was too, too religion. Mm, let me back up. These two women were from, they studied, from different mosques, let me put it that way, okay? One was Orthodox Muslim, the other one was um, from the nation. And they kind of came together with, okay, this this is a safe herb to use, but we're going to do a strength test to see how much you should take, okay? We was taking this product called CKLS, which was a colon, kidney, spleen, and liver cleanser. And I remember after, the, you know, they was taking them every day, pretty uh-huh. much. <laughs> And uh-huh. I remember that there was some times I was seeing those long strains of stuff, and I was like, wow, it's cleaning out the walls. So I thought okay. it was cleaning the walls out of the colon. So that was actually probably the worms you was talking about. Yes. That's what it sounds like, Jerry. Yeah. There was some stuff in there. I was like amazed. I was like, holy cow, what the heck? Isn't that fascinating? Yeah, but I've never seen a cleansing like that since that time. Because, like I said, when I did it for the colonoscopy, um, so like everything was more liquefied, you know, because of that, I guess because of that little tiny pill, that's like a, it's not a prescription. You can get, you know, if it's like a laxative. Yes. Yeah. Yes. When, when they're preparing your body for colonoscopy, that's not a colon cleansing. That's just a laxative to purge your colon. Oh. And it's not the same. And it's actually the lower portion of you, the, the colon, meaning the lower portion um, when you cleanse, Jerry, you're cleansing from left to right. So your left side going up from the crease of your thigh of your, um, mm-hmm. to your right under your rib cage, that is the side that empties out first. Okay. The part that's on the right side of your body and towards the center is where the oldest stool is. So when you go for a colonoscopy, oh. you've emptied only the, the loose, the new stool. They didn't even so they touch the even, old stuff. Oh, so they won't even see the one that's, at, I guess, at the top, the top end of your body, no, right? No, the one it really, your stomach. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh. They, don't even, they, they don't really get that far. Um, so yeah. that is why it's not, is, it's a good, good exam. And you should have it certainly by the time you're 50. But it's mm-hmm. still not as effective as if you take products orally, specifically fibers, mm-hmm. with dietary change while you're doing the cleanse and then of mm-hmm. course nutrition in liquid forms that you're not reclogging <laughs> and you're right. and that you're pumping it that's yeah. your protocol that's your map mm. oh wow and this is something that, so now before we go now should a person prepare to say they should be home for that that time period that day like you know if you start in the morning oh you know. no everyone who does the program with us um, is able to work. They, everyone works. The only time we had trouble was with a tick, you know, a toll booth 
person, and that's just a problem for her anytime. And she was my only person that really just had a tough time. Most of the evacuation is in the morning, but it's significant volume, very, very significant volume, over the course of 15 minutes. And then for the most part, it doesn't bother you for the rest of the day. Yeah, because that's the way the CKLS worked. It, 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 like, it hit you right after that first meal. Yes. And then, well, no, yeah, I say like around after your lunch, because a lot of people had that heaviest meal around lunch. And then after that, you was fine. It's not like you didn't have no emergency, you know. Right. Like you, you know, went on normally. But I know with the laxatives, you know, it's like, yeah, you better plan to be home. You better days. be home. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, and that's how everyone is able to do this comfortably while they are still working. Um, the program teaches, provides instruction booklets via email. Instruction is given um, by coaches over the phone on free conference lines mm -hmm. so that we have uh, customers, we have people who in the program as far as in the U.K. Um, as well as Trinidad. All over the country, they, they converge for the, our team calls every Monday. And so my, everyone reports being relatively comfortable throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Good, good. All right, so how can people, you know, be part of this? Um, well, well, Joyce, thank you um, for a really great conversation, and thank you also for your, your candidness um, and allowing us to use you as a little bit of a guinea pig and, and hear <laughs> your testimony. We appreciate that. People no learn problem. that. Um, just go to Facebook, Serenity Weight Loss. That's Serenity Weight Loss, S E R E. N I T Y weight loss. Okay. That's on Facebook. And then phone number is 404. You're calling a Georgia number. And that's 404 445 8579. This is All Michelle right. S. Living with Serenity. Jerry Royce Live with Power21.org. Right. That's right. Now, Michelle, you're going to have to send me that information so I make sure that is on your landing page because people are hitting you up listening to the show. So Wonderful. So this means that um, we definitely have to make sure your contact information is there for them. So um, make sure you inbox me when the show is over so we make sure that happens. Okay? Okay. Contact information, right. you got it, sir. Thank you so All much. Right. All right, that's Serenity, Live, Living with Serenity with Michelle Emmons. We appreciate having Michelle here again. Of course, very soon Michelle will be uh, powering the ship alone with our, with our special <laughs> guest. That's right, taking you guys to another level. And anytime you want to, you know, come back to these programs because you, you didn't catch it all, because Michelle was, was very informative, very, I mean, it was, it was a lot of education to catch in 50 minutes. Um, the shows are all on demand. Share with your friends, share with your family. You could be saving your life and someone else's life because death does happen in the colon. And according to what Michelle is reporting, um, you got to ask the right questions. Okay. You have to ask the right questions. And, 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 and of course, it, it leads to other problems if you're not taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. you know? And we talked about, about a lot of those things. Okay. And of course, we, you know, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm just sharing my problem. Um, of course, Michelle is the one that has the certificates and all the certification and education. She's experienced this stuff. She lived it. And she's the expert. Okay? So call her up. Join the club. All right, Michelle. Any final thoughts before we go? Um, I thought you wrapped it up really well, Jerry. just want to thank you again for co-hosting my first two broadcasts. Um, we're going to get we're going to segue into me going solo. Um, week after next, and we're going to right. kick it with some awesome testimonies. We're just going to do a parade of as many as who are willing to share publicly. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I know you're going to be blessed by that. So thank you all, and yeah. thank you, sir. That's right. Well, you guys, don't forget, everybody, you can listen to Michelle is also on Elation Magazine. That's elationmagazine.com. You can read her column. Uh, she uh, reports with Kimmy Kim, a.k.a. Kim, Kimmy Robinson. And, again, you can get her at elationmagazine.com. And she's on Elation Radio with Jerry Royce Live on PositivePower21.org. So you can catch a lot of the shows that she's going to be broadcasting, which will be streaming from her blog talk as soon as we can get that set up with her. But... <laughs> She, she will be producing a program with us on Tuesdays 
at 10 o'clock, which will run on Wednesdays. Sorry I wasn't ready tonight, but it was her first show, and, um, you know, we need to get a few things straight, some editing. But it's going to be, it was a really, really good show, and I hope you enjoy it. So don't forget about that Kimmy Kim, and we got Michelle Edmonds, and then we got T. Spence on Thursday. That's going to be a pretty deep show, what she told me. What we're going to talk about, I bring your tissues, your tissue box. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoy the, the weekend. The weather is like island-type weather on here on the East Coast. We've been enjoying it in the 80s. So um, it's what it is. So we'll, we'll see you again, Michelle, July 8th, I believe. Right? Yes. Is that, right? Okay. that is correct. All right, Michelle, I tell people all the time, they want to hear the good stuff. They got to listen to Drag Wars Live on PositivePower21.org. And don't forget, on your smartphones, if you know how to work it, you can download my app. That's right, Drag Wars <laughs> Live on Spreaker.com. Or just download Spreaker.com if you can't find my app because it's not available for iPhones right now. That's right. Hey, they went at $90. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> should I spend that? <laughs> Or should I take the family out to dinner? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> the family won. So anyway, y'all, uh, check me out. Get Spreaker.com, and then you can go ahead and pull down Positive Power 21. All right, y'all, take care, everybody. I'm Jerry Voice Live. I'm Worldwide. Thank you for tuning in to Jerry Voice Live on PositivePower21.org and Spreaker.com forward slash Positive Power 21. This is a Voice Enterprises production. And don't forget about replay on Facebook.com forward slash Jerry Voice Live. All right, that's a wrap, y'all. Stay awesome all week long. Don't forget, follow the path for 21, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.